The longest Mercedes have gone from the start of a season without winning in the turbo hybrid era is three races in 2018. However, this year they are on a 12-race winless streak. They brought major updates last week and had hoped for a resurgence, but the French Grand Prix showed that they still have a sizable performance deficit to Ferrari and Red Bull. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, Toto Wolff seemingly admits defeat for Mercedes. Wolf, while speaking to AFP, explained that they had always anticipated their current position after dominating the sport for so many years. We had eight years of great success. We pushed the limits like never before in any sport, winning the world championship eight times in a row. But we were always prepared that one day we would find ourselves facing difficulties, and now we are in this situation. He then spoke about their chances of winning this year. Winning this year? Before Paul Ricard, I would have said yes. Now, we wonder why we are one second behind Max Verstappen, six tenths behind Ferrari. It's too huge to be able to dream of winning races. He then went on to explain why. In Formula 1, the clock never lies, and today it says that we are not fast. It's like that. We screwed up mechanically. We screwed up aerodynamically. It's never only one thing. He signed off by revealing who deserves to win the championship. It's over in the title for us. It would be good for the sport if Leclerc could continue to fight for the championship until the end. Charles is an exceptional driver, a great personality. He deserves to win. I don't know if it helps him, but if I could choose, it would be him. Fast feed. Williams driver Alex Albon is just concentrating on this season and we'll see what happens in the future. There are always talks, but it's no secret that the spots at Red Bull and Alpha Tauri are closed. Even though the Williams is a little strange to drive at times, I think I have managed to get the hang of it. McLaren's Daniel Ricciardo stated, Give me a winning car and I'll win. I don't feel like I've ever left a win on the table. But that's the challenge that lies ahead of us, with myself and with the team at McLaren. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner jokingly pointed out that he had heard that Toto Wolff had said they would work on improving the car during the summer break. That would be illegal, of course. Retired world champion Nico Rosberg suggested that Ferrari seemed to have the better car at the moment. That can give us hope that Leclerc can still stage a comeback in the championship in the remaining races. It's still to play for. Will Daniel Ricciardo win an F1 race again? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.